Hi, I'm the wrestling doctor, Hal Lee, with Pro Wrestling Extra. I'm here with Blaine Rage, and I'd like to ask a few questions. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having me. This isn't going to be a 60 Minutes gotcha interview. I, okay. I, let me tell you something. I really enjoy your matches. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've done some research, and I really enjoy some of the things you did on Bang TV. Let me mm -hmm. tell you, they were the funniest things. <laughs> I'm sitting there rolling. <laughs> Watching that stuff. You are a talented young man. Well, thank you very much. Honey. Both with your wrestling ability and your promo ability. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I and I'm surprised they haven't picked you up already and moved you up. Uh, oh, well, what are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? All right, uh, let me ask you some questions. You, you started in 2001. Yes. yes. In 2001, did you go to Dory Funk Jr.'s? No, no. It was kind of, I think it was 2002 I had my official first match. Actually, June 10th. Uh, marked my 10 years in the in the business this uh, past June 10th. Um, I didn't start with Dory. I actually started at, at CCW, which is still running out. So you came through Chris Turner's Chris training? Turner, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I was doing uh, TV shows as an extra. I mean, I'm not trying to push myself or brag too much about anything I did television. I was an extra on the show. And uh, Mr. B was an extra on the show, if you know Mr. B, who doesn't? Right. And um, I always loved wrestling. Uh, one years old on, I mean, hooked, hooked, hooked. I never thought about it. I'd have a chance to get in it. And here's this referee, and he's showing everybody his wrestling book, and I was like, oh, my God, I'd love to get in something like that. He gave me Chris's uh, card, and I've just been working 300% uh, uh, towards, uh, towards that goal since. It was the best day of my life. All right, so how did you get down to Dory Funk Jr.'s Funkin' Conservatory? I had been wrestling for, I think, uh, maybe two years, two, three years, and uh, I was wrestling for a company called uh, Spinebuster up in Valdosta, run by Jody Peterman, who, is, who was using Dory at the time, and Dory saw me wrestle there, and I helped them out at a, one of the bang shows, and they just said, please come back, and please keep coming back and coming back, so I stayed on their roster for a, for a good long time. All right. Uh, you know, one of the things that impressed me was that Dory Funk Jr. said that you were the wrestler that most closely resembled Terry Funk. What an honor. <laughs> it, it really is. It really is. I mean, it's an honor to be around Dory. And um, the, the best uh, the best being around Dory is, I mean, you're, you're being taught by a legend. But the best part about being around Dory is just to hear him talk about the business. Shut mm -hmm. your mouth and hear him talk because you learn so much. And the reason he would uh, compare me to his brother Terry is because I... Took a lot of I did a lot of insane stuff over over the yes, years too. He said you just like uh, I remember one time I came to show I was like yeah I plan on doing a 450 off the top of this cage, and he said I thought they were lying when they told me that. <laughs> he said no, no I plan on doing this. He said you're fearless. You remind me of a lot of your brother. You can't talk about sometimes you're your own worst enemy, but that that that's where that compliment came. Any compliment from Dory is going to be you know oh, absolutely so yeah. much appreciated. You are from Jacksonville Beach? I live there currently, too. I've lived in Jacksonville uh, uh, since 95. I'm originally from upstate New York, moved around, ended up there. So, yeah, I'm at Jackson Beach currently. Okay, and I know uh, you do a lot of training. Uh, do you work out on the beach, or are you working out at a gym at the beach? Bailey's Powerhouse Gym has been, has been the gym that I've been all about. It's a, it's, it's a Jacksonville gym. They have 13 locations, 11 in Jacksonville, I think it's... The best gym you could possibly go to, and um, you can catch me there about seven days a week. Tell us a little bit about your training schedule. What do you do? Uh, well, I, I, I kick people in the face. Well, oh, that'll get you kicked out. Yeah. Of Bailey's power. Well, not at Bailey's. No, I don't do that. <laughs> no, I don't do that. I mean, wrestling wise, but uh, training. Just you know, I'm, uh, I hit it hard. I, everything I do, I give a hundred percent. So uh, six, seven times a week, I'm in there. Different than my like. I got different workout partners too that we always kind of say, well, let's try this, let's try this. So I always try to keep changing it up too. You don't ever want to be too stale, you know. Um, right. I always like to say your muscles have memories. Your muscles and have memories. And they will remember. remember. They write right when you say these things. You know? <laughs> uh, uh, what are you, uh, what is a meal like that you do? I mean, are you on a regiment that you're really counting your calories, watching am, your carbs? I am guilty about not being. Um, I was blessed to have a wife who is amazing in the kitchen and, and, and just a phenomenal chef because I am not. I will burn some toast. And uh, so I, I eat as good as she, did, you know, as healthy as she decides to cook for the night. You know, I'm not, I'm not one to turn down a meal. I try to eat as clean as possible, but, uh, you know, wrestling, sometimes it's fast food or no food. 
So I just try to keep conscious of it too, but no, I'm not on a strict regimen too. I, uh, I put more effort into the two, three hours in the gym than I do <laughs> counting carbs. Okay, I know you've wrestled a lot of people. This is true. Yeah, you've been in the business 10, 10 years. years. 10 years now. So could you give us maybe three of the best guys, in your opinion, you've worked in the ring? Uh, John Davis, if you've ever heard of him. Yes. <laughs> He actually started a month after I started wrestling. Uh, so 10 years marked, his, uh, June 10th marked, marked his 10th year in the business. So we uh, we started the same place. We ended up going a lot of the same companies. Our, our, our paths always seem to, to, to cross. He's real big on Bailey's Powerhouse Gym. So we kind of grew up with wrestling. But uh, he's one of those guys you can wrestle and like the sky's the limit. Like whatever you can think of or whatever you can possibly dream of accomplishing in a match with somebody, you can, you can go out there and do it. And um, the guy I'm wrestling tonight, actually, Rocky Santiago, I think he's just an amazing talent. And uh, he's the epitome of what an athlete is. Try to say right, athletes aren't in pro wrestling. I said, look at this guy. Uh, you got to have your gear. to be, be in there with him, too. So tonight, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll be in the, the ring with somebody who's been definitely one of my best opponents. Have you ever done any tag team wrestling? Have you ever found somebody you can gel with and uh, maybe form a tag Absolutely. team? Absolutely. Picture Perfect was the name of my tag team, me and Kevin Cantrell. Uh, I think it goes by Adam May now. He was, he was a great tag team partner. Really enjoyed it. Mostly in CCW. Then we did some traveling. Actually, we went to Spine Buster together. And, uh, uh, you know, he just uh, he had a wife and kid. New life kind of got in the way. I think he I think he, uh, he would like to have more wrestling in his life than he does probably right now. But uh, anytime I could help him out, I absolutely will. I think he's a phenomenal talent. All right. You, you got a show coming up. You've got... Uh Evolve 16, I think yes, it is coming yes, up. Yes, yes, yes. So that'll be uh, next week at the Potter's House, which I've wrestled for just about every company that's ran in that, in, in the Potter's House. Too. I've, I've seen it poorly promoted and only put 20 people in there. And I've seen, uh, like, Frank Howell, how about that show, and get, like, 300 people in there, too. And I think the effort's been put into this to have it just probably be one of the top top uh, uh, draws this building's had to go. I mean, obviously the talent is... Is ridiculous when it comes to Evolve in the Dragon Gate series too. And you got any idea who you're going to be working? I don't. That's TBA right now. That's to be announced. I, I know whoever it is is going to be top-notch talent because they really are one of the most respected companies in the world today. Yes. You know the IPPV is going to be something mm -hmm. coming up. I think uh, with uh, RHO and and Evolve. Uh, going this way, mm. yeah, I think that's a wave of the future. I think the independents may be a little small in some of the groups, but I would love to see some of the groups get together, put together some of the bigger independents, and, yes. and do a show and maybe every true. six months or once a year. Absolutely. Well, that's the problem with, with the business today is there's not a lot of job opportunities. Right. You know, you got to re, you really got to, you know, at this point you have to reevaluate what you consider making it because there's just so limited in job spaces. You know? Um, and, and it, companies like Evolve, ROH, I mean, watch those guys. Those are the top athletes. Not in wrestling, those are the top athletes in the world. Absolutely. Watch them go. Watch them go. So to be a part of that, and I've actually done an Evolve show before. I've wrestled before I'm up in New Jersey in an eight-man fray. Uh, it's the best talent wrestling has to offer, but uh, I can reiterate it enough. It's the best talented athletes in the world. Let me ask you a question. Uh, you kind of hit it on it just then. Being in wrestling, you know, you have a limited time that you can actually wrestle. You know, I wrestled till I was almost 50, mm -hmm. and I probably wrestled two years too long. Right. I should have got out at 48. I was in the best shape in my life at 48, and, and, and I should have got out that year. But a lot of guys carry on a little too long. Are they holding up places for some of the younger guys? It's, you know, how do you feel I about I mean, that? I'm sure some places, yes, and some places. Now, I, I've... I've never encountered a problem where I felt like my spot was taken because somebody hung around too much. If anything, I try to uh, gain whatever I can from veterans. Um, well, I've also heard you pay back to a lot of the guys come to you and ask questions and have you watch their matches to respect your uh, achievements. It's true, and that's the way that you, you know, don't ever think you can't be better because you can't. Actually, one time I did kind of get. Uh, bumped off for, for, for a, a legend, and it, I was absolutely fine with it because it was Roddy Roddy Piper, 
Oh. And I was more happy that I got to meet Roddy Piper than a show with Roddy Piper than anything. And he was just, he, he, was, he was awesome to be around too. And that was in Puerto Rico for uh, World Wrestling Council too. But uh, yeah, I still wrestled on the show too. And I love hanging out with him. All right, Blaine, I appreciate you coming Absolutely. in and, and doing this interview. Oh, thank you very much. And, uh, thank you I enjoyed much. it, and I hope you did too. Um, and FYI, there's a show coming up in August. That's right. I forgot about that. I'm sorry about that. There's a show out at Jack's Beach. Yes. And it's going to be called Pro Wrestling Rage. And what, I mean, I love Jacksonville, and one of the biggest reasons I, I like the spot that I'm at because I'm always wrestling between Georgia and Jacksonville. It's right there in the middle, and I think there's just so much talent between between both the states and actually right in Jacksonville. Uh, like Hollywood Jamie Love, I think, what he's doing with this Pro Wrestling Extra, it just helps the business. There's so many Absolutely. talented people in and out of the ring helping it, too. So if I could help, and Evolve's going to help, you know, if that's in Jacksonville, and that continues to come back to make Jacksonville a real wrestling mecca. And I like bringing the top talents that I'm, I have the pleasure or privilege, I should say, of, uh, of wrestling with, too. Not only that, it's certain someone's birthday is the very next day, and it is marking my 10th year in the, in the business, too. So it'll be fun to say the least, or as what I tell people with this show is uh, it's at Jack's Beach, so I got 99 problems, but a beach ain't one. It would, uh, what date is that? That'll be August 11th, actually. So do you have a clue about the card? Who's going to be on there? Uh, yeah, actually, I think the top talent in Florida versus the top talent in, in Georgia will be the main eventing. Not Blaine eventing. Blaine, the Blaine event will be in there as well, but uh, uh, Bordell Walker. Who I have a tremendous amount of respect for will be going uh, one on one with um, John Davis. Uh, that's that's that'll be an event where I wrestle, turn right around, and become a fan because I love watching those two go at it. Dagen Briggs will be on the show, and uh, he'll be wrestling BC Brody. Those are two monsters. Right. So um, uh, tremendous talent. Rocky uh, Rocky Santiago will be on that as well. Johnny Armani, Jake Slater, uh, Corey Chavez. Uh, Tremendous talent will be on that show. It sounds like that's going to be one great show. I will be there, I promise you. And, and, and you as well, too. So the challenge I won't be on the show, but I'll be watching right, no, you come guys. On, come on, come on. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hey, no, thank you very much. Thank All you right. very much. Uh, this is the Wrestling Doctor for uh, Pro Wrestling Extra. Thank you.